All right, fellas. Um, I have no box to open today, no packs or anything. So I am here to give you the first of hopefully many top 10 videos. So this is going to be the intro video, or I guess an intro, or at least this is the the, fir the first one. This is going to be the first one of the series. This is going to be the top 10, or my personal top 10 favorite Pokemon. And remember, this is, is I'm not saying these Pokemon are better than others. I'm just saying these are Pokemon that I like more than others. And these are Pokemon that I connect with. I oh, connect with. This is stupid sounding. Pokemon that I enjoy more more than anyone the more than the others you see what i'm getting you know what i mean fate you know what favorite means come on come on now come on you know what favorite means anyway i'm gonna get right into this um actually i'm not gonna get right into this i just want to know if you guys disagree with me <laughs> if you disagree if you agree if you think i'm stupid for liking a certain pokemon please just leave a comment down below i'll be really happy to respond to you and i'd love to hear what you guys have to say so anyway let's get right to it number 10 of my top 10 favorite Pokemon. Here we go. Infernape. Infernape is my 10th favorite Pokemon. And I really have no idea why. This kind of came out of nowhere fairly recently. Because I started watching. Or not started. I've always been watching. But I started watching more Dragon Ball. And Infernape is um apparently based on the, the Journey of the West. Which is what Dragon Ball is based off. It's like Sun Goku and the, the, Monkey, the Monkey King. And the, the Power Pole and crap. And that's what Infernape's original design was based off of. And I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I think, personally, personally, I think 4th Gen has the best design starters. Period. I think 4th Gen has the best design starters. Torterra, Empoleon, Infernape. I think they're all great looking. And they're cool and they're fun to use. They're not even that bad to use. But Infernape is obviously the best of the three because... I mean, okay, everyone complains that firefighting is too common of a type for starters. You have Blaziken, and you got Embar, and you got Infernape, and that's three, and that's three too many for most people, but come on, firefighting is cool. Firefighting is a cool type. Blaziken is an Ubers, dude. Like, Blaziken is an Ubers. Infernape, I don't think Infernape's an OU, but he could be if he wanted to. Just slap a Focus Sash on him, give him some close combat. Close combat is a cool move, and I love 4th Gen, and I love Infernape. And I start. I always played with Piplup when I was a kid, but Infernape grew on me. So that's my number ten. Number nine. Here we go. And um, this is a Pokemon that he reminds me of a train. <laughs> he's, he's just he's just a giant, powerful, just power. This Pokemon screams power, and it is Aggron. Aggron just oozes power. And to be fair, I'm not a big fan of Mega Aggron. I'm not that into it. But regular vanilla Aggron. It's just, and like, and that's one of my favorite um, Pokemon families ever. Just Aeron, Lairon, Aggron. I, I love them, and they're so good. Like, the designs are so good, and Aggron's cry is so good. And he just, and even even if his stats and moves aren't that good, and even if he's not that good in competitive play, I think he's still one of the best designs of 3rd Gen. 3rd Gen is a lot of good designs, but Aggron is up there. Because when you see that little Aeron, you're like, oh, how cute, I'm going to get it. And it involves the Lairon, you're like, okay, it looks pretty strong. And then Aggron comes up and he gets off his four legs on the two, and it's just, it's it's like Mecha Godzilla. It's so cool. So cool. Next we have De Deoxys, and that's my favorite legendary. Yeah, that's it. Deoxys is my favorite legendary. And I have no idea why. It's just, he's cool. I love the attack form, the speed form, the defense form, the regular form. They're all cool looking. And I love aliens, and I think putting aliens in Pokemon is cool. And I remember one of my fondest childhood memories It was when um, they aired Destiny Deoxys on Kids WB. That, that was like one of the best days of my life. Because I got up early, I went to the store, I bought like... Like half a dozen donuts, chocolate frosted donuts, and I came home and I just sat there and I just ate all these donuts while watching it, and it was just one of those pure bliss moments of my life. And I remember, because I had really crappy internet back when I was a kid, and I used to go on kidswb.com and watch the trailer for Destiny Deoxys every single freaking day, and it would take like an hour just to load that three minute and fifty four second video. I, I'm just assuming that's what the time was. I don't remember honestly, but <laughs> I would spend hours just to load that one video and. It was worth it. I, I love Destiny Deoxys. I love the the characters. Like even that little the little kid that was afraid of Pokemon. He was cool and like the environment was cool and it was just a really fun creative movie. And Rayquaza was there. Rayquaza is pretty cool. It's Mega Fug. Um, next is what do we at number? This is number six. We're at number six. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Oh, we're at seven. Um, okay, we're at number seven. And we got 
Poor Yan Z. Now, Poor Yan Z, all right, hear me out, guys. Poor Yan Z is cool looking, and he has a cool shiny. And as of 7th gen, he can be used in competitive battles pretty good because he has that move Z conversion where, he's, where he, um, he takes the type of his first move and gets a bunch of like stat boosts as if like as if like he landed like an ancient rock and got a boost or something. It's really cool. And if you haven't used it yet in competitive play, you totally should because Porygon Z should, should, should not be slept on. And Porygon 2 is pretty good too. Give him an Eviolite and just... just uh, Porygon 2 actually saved me in a lot of battles before. But I like the design of Z better because he's just crazy and all over the place. And he's just a nice Pokemon. And so... I, Cool. Number six is it? I hope I'm getting this right. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Yeah, number six. I got it. I got it. Raichu. And I want to tell you why I like Raichu. Because he's not Pikachu. <laughs> That's the only reason why I like Raichu so much. He's just a yellow Pikachu. Or not yellow. He's an orange Pikachu. He's orange or yellow. He's bigger. He's faster and he's stronger too. He's the first member of the DK crew. But <laughs> anyway. Um, I'm not talking about a Lolan Raichu either. Lolan Raichu is cute, but I like regular Raichu because he's cool looking. He has a long tail, and he 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 knows how to use um that Dunder Punch. You know, actually, I think with Electapuzz it used a Dunder Punch. <laughs> I love the anime, but or the old episodes. The yeah, new episodes aren't that bad. But anyway, Raichu, he's not good competitive. He's not good in general, and he's outshined, or at least. Like in in regards of like favorit favoritism, he's outshined by his younger brothers, and so that's why I feel bad for him. And he's on my list because I think Raichu is adorable. And if you don't like Raichu and you like Pikachu more, then fine, leave a comment saying you like Pikachu more. I'm just saying that you just need to give him a chance. Give Raichu a chance, just one chance, all he need. Next we have Scizor. Scizor. We had Scizor. This dude, um. You know, he's just cool. He's just a really cool Pokemon. Scyther and Scizor are really cool. And I think my, even, even, I know this is just an opinion based video. I'm 100% sure everyone thinks Scizor is cool. Not Mega Scizor. Mega Scizor is alright, but I like regular vanilla Scizor. He's cool. He is cool. Everyone knows Scizor is cool. Cool, cool, cool Pokemon. And his shiny sucks. But, but, fourth gen competitive Scizor is what got me into competitive battling. Got U-turn, Bullet Punch. Uh, what are you? And that was in Choice Band. That was the one set. The other set was um, Life Orb, Sword Stance, Bug Bite. Technician as the ability is just S Sizzler. Everything about this dude just he just he just wrecks. It's just like my old strategy for back in the day: throw Sizzler in, set up a Sword Stance, Bullet Punch, win. That was it. Sizzler always had it. Nowadays, Sizzler, he's not as good as what he used to be in regards to competitive battles, but he's still cool. That never changed. Sizzler is still cool. Anyway, we are down to... Hey, let me make sure. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, we're at number 4? Oh, we're at number 4. We're at 4, guys. Number 4. We have... Um, this is... This is pretty interesting. Because no one talks about this Pokemon. But we have one of the original choices for the mascots. At least I think he was the original choice for the mascot. I just know Red had him in the manga. Um, Poliwhirl. That's right, my boy Poliwhirl. Poliwhirl, Poliwhirl, guys, come on. Keep it up for Poliwhirl. Poliwhirl, yeah. Poliwhirl is a pretty cool guy. Poliwhirl is a pretty cool guy. Poliwhirl is cool. He's cool. He will never, Poliwhirl will never sleep with your girlfriend. Poliwhirl would never cheat on your test. Like, he'll never, like, rat you out for cheating on a test. Poliwhirl... Well, always bum a cigarette if you need it. Poliwhirl is that kind of bro. If you need a light, Poliwhirl got you. If you forgot your cash at the, like, and you go to a restaurant with him, he got you. Just pay him back the next day. Actually, Poliwhirl will probably be like, don't worry about it, man. I got it. Because Poliwhirl's a cool guy. Poliwhirl is really cool. Like, if you have anywhere to go, Poliwhirl will drive you. He's that cool guy. He Poliwhirl is so freaking cool that, like, nothing... He's so cool that nothing can bother him. Like, you can just walk up to Poliwhirl and be like, hey, dude... I, you think I think you're short and ugly, and he'll just be like, Haha, "Whatever, dude. That's just how the world works. Gotta roll with it, bro." He's so cool. Poliwhirl is just so chill. He's such a nice dude. Have you ever met Poliwhirl? Tell me right now. Have you ever met Poliwhirl? If you haven't met Poliwhirl, you need to meet Poliwhirl because Poliwhirl, Poliwhirl is the man. Poliwhirl, he okay. Maybe he's not good competitively, but he doesn't care. You can be like, "Hey, Poliwhirl, you suck competitively," and he's just like, "You know what, dude? It's fine. It's fine that I suck competitively. It's fine that Poliwhirl sucks competitively." Because 
Poly, Poly Toad is all right, but it doesn't matter, dude, because you can't touch me. I'm Poly World. I'm Poly World. I, you can do whatever you want. You can spit your fire at me. You can start a rap battle with me, but you cannot beat me because I am Poly World. Because Poly World is just too cool for school, bro. He never went to school. Poly World freaking dropped out in kindergarten. And then he got a master's degree after getting his GED when he was three. This dude, Poly World, is so cool. He's just, uh, he is just the coolest. Uh, he's just, he, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I got to go to the next one. I'm sorry. Number three, Parasect. And Parasect, um, he sucks. <laughs> Parasect sucks competitively. He's terrible. He's terrible. If you use a Parasect on your team, what are you doing? There are better choices, dude. You mean, Parasect gets Spore, but I'm pretty sure Amoongus gets Spore too, and Breloom. So, like, what are you doing with a Parasect? Parasect sucks. He gets no moves. He's terrible. But I love him. I love the design. I love the concept. I love the fact that Parasect is, like, a little, like, crab bug guy with a mushroom taking over his body. It, he's cool, and he has the dead eyes. I love him. I love Parasect. I think... Parasect is my favorite first gen Pokemon ever. I just love him. He's cool. And even back in the day, there was nothing to counter Mewtwo. Like, I'm talking about first gen competitive way back, way back before a lot of you guys were even born. First gen competitive, he was what he was the only counter for Mewtwo. He was it. He was no one else could take on Mewtwo except Mewtwo himself and maybe Electrode and Parasect. But Parasect was the only one that can hit um, super effective on Mewtwo. So, he's cool. Number two. Metagross. Metagross is the man. Metagross, you can't, there's another one. This is like, like, Metagross, I think, has been top tiered forever. And now he has the Mega, so he's even stronger. But Metagross is just so cool. And, like, in your, if you watch Destiny Deoxys, he's so cool because he, like, floats. He, like, hovers around and crap. And he's just cool, dude. He's like a grumpy old guy. <laughs> he's, you can't. I love Metagross. He got Bullet Punch. Meteor... The, the, his signature move is Meteor Mash. Like, just the name. Meteor Mash. What the heck? That thing is so good. And of course, Deox... Not Deox. Jirachi had to be a Psychic Steel type from that gen too. So, But nobody uses Jirachi. Metagross is cooler. Metagross hits like a truck. And he's... Ah, man. But anyway, guys. It's time for the big reveal. Who is my number one favorite Pokemon ever? Ever. Who is my favorite? If you guys have no idea, it should be very obvious because he's on my arm. It's Cacnea, dude. Cacnea is my freaking favorite Pokemon. And there's really no explanation why. What started was back in 7th grade, we all made this running joke. Like It wasn't even a joke. It was stupid. We're like, let's, let's, let's just vote the 4th gen starters for president. I'll represent Chimchar. I'll represent Piplup. I'll represent... Uh, uh, Turtwig, and I was just like, well, I don't like them. I'm going to represent Cacnea. <laughs> it was just random. It was just me being a stupid little lay random hot topic kid. Like, that's the only reason why I like Cacnea so much. And it grew on me because I was just joking around like, haha, Cacnea is the best. This joke, it was just a joke. It was just a joke. And now I love him. I love Cacnea. I adore him. And if you ever watch the anime, you know James is my favorite trainer in this series. He's my favorite character. And, um,. He had a Cacnea for a while, and the way he got it was just so beautiful. It was the episode where they got rid of um, Arbok and Weezing. Sorry if there's spoilers, but this episode is like probably 10 years old now. He got rid of Arbok and Weezing, and they're fighting the dude with the the Tyranitar, and then they they all abandon. They 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 say yo. It was just it was just a really emotional episode, and then at the end, Cacnea just comes up to James and just joins him, and it's just the greatest thing ever, and Cacnea is just such a good guy, and the episode where James got rid of Cacnea broke my heart, because he just wanted what was best for Cacnea, he wanted Cacnea to stay with Gardenia and learn Drain Punch, and Cacnea is just, he's just, he's just a nice guy, he's just so cool, and every, I, I get, I get really, I get really emotional when I talk about James and Pokemon, because that dude, he didn't deserve to get the shit that he gets, like, he's, he's a good guy, he's a really good guy, and it sucks, dude. He deserves better, and he he cares about his Pokemon so much, and Cacnea was my favorite Pokemon that he's ever had, ever, and I I just love it, and I mean, okay, Cacnea sucks, Cac Cacturn sucks competitively, but I still run a Cacnea sometimes in my teams, just because I like him. You gotta pick your favorites. You gotta pick your favorites sometimes, dude. You don't gotta do everything Smogon says. You don't gotta be OU all the time. Just have fun, dude. It's a game. It's a game. Just enjoy it. Play with who you wanna play with. So anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. 
there'll be more videos like this in the near future. I hope you liked it. Please leave any comments and criticism or tell me I'm stupid or call me ugly or tell me you don't want to see my freaking face anymore. Do whatever you want to do. Just do it in the comments below and I'll be sure to respond to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Bye-bye.